Hey folks, Jason, JTL, Painfully Honest Tech, back here again, and today we are going to talk about whether or not you should go for the Galaxy S22 Ultra or whether or not you should consider the uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which hits the streets tomorrow. I know some people who have ordered them already have theirs. And uh, this is sort of the question for the ages at this. The S22 Ultra flagship for the normal shaped phones and the Z Fold 4 is the flagship that I think, I think Samsung wants people to see the folding phones as their new kind of note. The, the phone that sort of shows what they can do and how they can stretch their legs and create something different than what other people are doing. Although there are a lot of other folding phones that are that are seeing the light of day now. Unfortunately, in North America, uh, none of them are available. So we only have the Fold 4 to go by. By and large, I think that this is the question that a lot of people have been have been maybe asking themselves. Maybe somebody has already picked up the Galaxy uh, S22 Ultra and, and is thinking about trading it in for the Fold, or maybe they've been waiting to see what the Fold is to see whether or not they get the S22 Ultra or they get the Fold, or they wait until next year for whatever else is coming. There are a lot of things that, that are going on. I know I've had a lot of questions about whether or not you should consider this, that, or the other thing. And so I thought I'd, I'd do a video where I did a poll on my channel, um, on my channel community page. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You can find the channel community page right on the uh, top bar of the, the sort of guide on the channel, the channel homepage itself. It says community to, you can to there. And it, anyway, did a poll, got a bunch of comments back, got over 600 votes. I can't remember exactly how many of the, the results were very interesting. I'm going to reveal the results in some of the comments later on in the video, but I thought first I'd do a little compare and contrast with the uh, with the Z Fold and the Z Fold or the Z Fold Four and the S twenty two Ultra and see really like is there a marked difference? Is there one that's better than the other? And if so, how or why? GSM Arena does a, a really great breakdown. Of pretty much, you can put any phone that you want into GSM Arena's uh, uh, web page and it will, it will show you the, the combination of those two with all of their, uh, specifications. And then, okay, here we are. Uh, we have the Z Fold 4 versus the ultra, uh, the S22 ultra. And we know, so the S22, the S22 ultra came out in February. The, the Z Fold 4 is coming out uh, tomorrow, you're getting almost 11 millimeters more with the screen on the S22 Ultra than you are on the front screen of the Z Fold. But of course, you know, the, the big ticket item on the Fold is the unfolded screen, right? They both have Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. They both, ha they both have uh, glass back, aluminum frame, IPX8 water resistant versus IPX68 dust and water resistant. Uh, so it's water resistant, the, the same water resistance, but the six, I guess, means that it's also dust resistant. You've got armor aluminum frame on both. You've got stylus support with the Z Fold, and you've got a stylus on board with the S22 Ultra. Uh, the screens are basically the same, although the S22 Ultra does, does get uh, about 500 nits more, that 550 nits more brightness. Uh, the size is 7.6 inches versus 6.8 inches. The pixel density, which is how many pixels per inch, uh, is greater on the S22. For the OS on the Fold, we've got Android 12L, one UI 4.1.1, and then on the uh, on the S22 Ultra, we've got Android 12 and one UI 4.1, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, four nanometer, and uh, then we've got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 four nanometer and meter on the S22 Ultra. And then of course, uh, in Europe, you get the Exynos chip, which nobody likes. So SD card slot, no, no. For storage, you've got 256 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and that can go up to 512 or one terabyte, uh, all with 12 gigabytes. Or with the S22 Ultra, you can get one 28 gigabytes of storage with eight gigabytes, and then the same configurations all the way up to one terabyte with the S22 Ultra. So they're US, UFS 3.1 storage, 
the cameras are improved on the Fold. However, uh, they're not up to the same spec as the uh, cameras on the S22 Ultra. We've got 108 megapixels. Uh, we've got 10 megapixels. We've got uh, telephoto. We've got periscope telephoto. We've got ultra wide. Uh, then we've got cameras that aren't uh, quite up to the same standard. Uh, we've got auto HDR and panorama versus HDR and panorama. 4K 60 frames per second is the best that the Fold 4 can do, and 8K 24 frames per second and 4K 30 or 60 frames per second HDR 10, stereo sound, uh, gyroscopic, you know, all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, the uh, more camera options by a long shot with the S22 Ultra. And uh, the the it, cameras are improved on the Fold 4, but not really all that much. Uh, inter, uh, selfie camera, 4 megapixels versus 40 megapixels. Uh, and then a 10 megapixel cover camera for the Fold 4. No headphone jacks, same audio tuned by AKG. Wi-Fi looks to be about the same. We've got Bluetooth 5.2. Uh, looks like the Z Fold 4 uh, supports Aptex HD, which the S22 Ultra doesn't. Uh, GPS, yes. NFC, yes. Infrared, no. Radio, no. USB Type-C 3.2, uh, both the same here. So the question I asked was very simple. Uh, which should you get, S22 Ultra or Fold 4, if you had to choose between one or the two and you were going to buy one. And, and to tell me why. So I asked people to give me some comments on why they would cho choose this. So first off, we take a look and you see that the S22 Ultra won by almost uh, two-thirds of the vote. 66% versus 34%. Well, that is pretty much two thirds of the vote goes to the S22 Ultra, whereas 34% of the vote went to the Fold 4. Now, why did some people vote this way? Uh, so we've got Carl Southern here saying if you had to choose, it would be the Fold 4. Same software, more versatile form factor, and he doesn't care about the S Pen. That's kind of one of the things with both of these. The S Pen comes on board with the, uh, with the uh, S. 22 Ultra, whereas you can get an S Pen and it's supported with the uh, with the Fold 4, but not it doesn't come in the box or anything like that. Uh, then some of the reasons that people didn't want to go with the Fold 4 is durability, and I can speak to that because I've had uh, two Fold 3s and two Flip 3s. And my Fold 3s were okay, but one of them, the, the, the screen protector started to come off and, and that had to be replaced. And then the other was, was fine, but I only had it for a short period of time. The flips, though, I gave the flips to my daughter, who's 18 years old, and uh, the, the flips, both screens broke. Uh, just through normal use, open, she opened them up and, and they just cracked open. One within six months of buying it and the other within four months of getting it replaced. Uh, durability is definitely a concern. David V has, and I sort of echo that. That's a gimme says narrow front screen and not the latest cameras, although they're sure I'm sure they're great, are a deal breaker. Plus, I'm a huge S Pen user. So the S Pen seems to be something that people care about. The S22 Ultra does have the superior camera. I know from using the S22 Ultra when it came out, uh, that it was one of the best cameras I've ever used on a smartphone. In fact, I'll say that if I were to answer this question, I would go with S22 Ultra because the S22 Ultra is probably the best Android phone that I've I've ever used. Just straight up, period on the sentence, that's what I have to say. Uh, Jared Hill says the cameras matter a lot to him, so he's going with the S22 Ultra. Scott Murray says, I don't see foldable phones as a future. Uh, too expensive, not reliable enough at this point. The only chance foldable phones have a future is if Apple uh, shows the world how to do it and then everybody copies that. I didn't say it, Scott said it, but that's sometimes how it goes. So 66% of the people say S22 Ultra, and I have to agree wholeheartedly, if only because my experience with the folds so far has been very good in terms of the folds, the flips not so much, 
but I still find the folds after using them for a while to be somewhat awkward to hold in the unfolded state. And I mean, that's, that's the point to some people. And I would like to see the S pen on board. I would like to see the crease gone. I, that was something that a lot of people mentioned. I would like to see that it was, um, a little bit, it, it still feels just a little bit half baked compared to the S22 Ultra. The S22 Ultra, I mean, let's be fair, is the, I guess, what, 11th or 12th version of the S line of phones. And really, this is probably, I guess, the Note 21 or Note 22, whatever you want to call it, uh, since they took away the Note line, but they put the S Pen in the S22 Ultra. Samsung has been working on this form factor of phone for quite some time, and so they've had quite some time to perfect it. And that's really something that I think bears bears repeating. Uh, the folds may mature in the same way, or they may not. I, honestly, I kind of see this as a, as a make or break year, and the thing that really turned me off from going with the fold as something that I would recommend this year is actually none of the things that people mentioned on here. One of the problems that I had with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 was the battery life. The battery life was almost a day, most days for me. And that kind of was a problem when you have the uh, S22 Ultra that gets very good battery life. Most slab phones these days get very good battery life. The iPhones these days are crushing it on battery life. And the Fold 3 just wasn't getting me through the day. But the Z Fold 4, the one thing that I wanted to see from the Z Fold 4 was um, uh, so, some improved battery life. And at this point, not having one in hand, but looking at the specs, the battery is still 4,400 milliamp hours of battery. That's the same as it was in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I don't see anything that's gonna change that. And so I can only see the same battery life with the Z Fold 4. And that to me is, is a big letdown when it comes to the uh, Z Fold 4. There's not enough that's changed about this phone to make it worth ponying up 1800 bucks, or even if you wanted to trade in and get $800 or $900 off, you're still on the hook for $900. And that's, that's a lot of money. The trade-in values are great that Samsung gives out, but you're still on the hook for a decent amount of money whenever you uh, trade in to get a folding phone. So if, if you're out there with a Fold 3, I would say hang on to it for another year, see what happens with the Fold 5. If you've got the S22 Ultra, I would say hang on to that and wait to see what happens next year. If you've got a phone from previous years, I still say like the, the folding phones are not quite good enough yet across the board, camera, battery life, uh, just durability and reliability of the screens. They're, they're just not quite there yet, whereas... The S line of phones is tried and true, and Samsung is really firing on all cylinders talking about those phones. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Would you go for the S22 Ultra? Would you go for the Fold 4? Would you go for something else? Uh, some people in the comments from the poll uh, were voicing some frustration with Samsung, not really pushing the envelope. Let me know what you think down in the comments. We'll have a boisterous discussion as always. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I am out.